Uh, you're, you're one of the guys who's always gone against the grain. Do you feel at any time when you were looking for a coaching career within the U.S. soccer ranks, you were blacklisted or treated, treated differently? Of course. I, I think that that's, a, that's not a... That's not a mystery to anybody, and that's not the that's not the reason why I would would you know take this this stance at this point, Herc. I, I don't I don't think that that was my my reasoning, um, but I do feel that you know when we start talking about old boys club or whatever you want to call it, I think that there has been a certain way of doing things um, that has been accepted, and there is maybe a, a, a whole group of people on the outside looking in. You know, trying to bang down that door to remind people that there there might be a better way. There might be a better way to to facilitate soccer in this country. And if we do that, if we do that, maybe we'll be able to achieve better things. Maybe we'll be able to realize the potential that I think we've 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 always known that we've had. But certain barriers, and maybe that's within our structure. Maybe that's within our schedule um, that prohibit us from from really getting to where we really need to be. And. Uh, I think this again. It's a very unique window. Uh, I think that there's there's a lot to be done, and I think we, we you know we're putting together a group of, of really good people, smart people that that would like to see um, uh, to see the sport grow appropriately on all levels, all levels. And that doesn't you know from it, we've always attacked this thing and said, well you know it's it's wrong at the pro game or it's wrong at the youth level. It it really is one of those situations where top to bottom and bottom to top meet you in the middle because. When, when we get both of those parts right, it's all stuff that, that I think, you know, with smart people and a good vision and a good plan, we can get there.